Hello and welcome. Let's take a look at the formula Z-gluten called gluten control, which is a whole lot more than just gluten control. In fact, I keynote to this formula and I give it the two words food intolerances, which are really based on a lack of specific food enzymes being generated by the body and thus people can become reactive but not allergenic to certain foods. So again, it's not enough enzymes to render the food into its basic components. People that suffer from food intolerances often have GI tract disturbances, loose stools, stomach aches, bloating and gas. So unlike food allergies, which can include like life-threatening, anaphylactic shock, and so forth, food sensitivities are not mediated by histamine and they do not produce antibodies. Furthermore, they can have delayed reactions and kind of catch up with people many hours after ingesting the food. Right now, 50 million Americans have milk intolerance. Much of that intolerance is based on the protein structures of casein, uh, an amino acid that is inherent in the milk. About 100 million people now are having gluten intolerance, primarily because in the USA, the wheat has been hybridized so many times and contains so many more chromosomes than the original wheat had that our human bodies haven't found ways to deal with all the extra gliadins and wheat like agglutinin factors and glutens and so forth in modern wheat. So even if the wheat is not causing belly aching, it can be causing problems with the brain and other parts of the body. Many people seek to avoid sensitive foods because they learn they don't work and this is called dietary modification. But you know, that's not usually the best idea is to keep retreating from things because what happens when you get blindsided? You're eating out and the chef uses a secret sauce or there's cross contamination back in the kitchen or we make simple as assumptions that, oh, soy sauce, it must have soy in it. We don't think that it, most of soy sauce has wheat in it. And so there's all these hidden and opportunities to become blindsided and then have the gastrointestinal disturbance. So supplementing when eating out is almost a mainstay now of many people's lives. It's insurance, it's peace of mind. Now, Z-gluten is a broad spectrum enzyme supplement and it provides specific enzymes to help digest uh, gluten, which is the allergenic portion uh, of wheat, um, casein, which is the largely allergenic portion of milk products, and digest phytates, which are anti-nutrients in unfermented grains, unsprouted seeds and legumes that binds iron and blocks some mineral absorption. So it's very important for vegetarians that rely wholly on grains and plant materials to provide things like iron, uh, as well as fats, proteins, and carbohydrates, that they get the iron uptake uh, from their diet, which means that phytates need to be reduced. Now, this formula has dipeptidyl pepsidase 4 in it. Now this is uh, a, a combination of enzymes that inactivates peptides such as the proline rich structures. Those are what's going to be in milk and in the, the gliadin in the allergenic protein portion of plant cells. It has cellulase in it which breaks down cellulose. Now this is the cell wall of many of the vegetable uh, molecules of the cells of the plant. And so it allows the body to gain access to the valuable chromatin factors inside the plant cells that without cellulase, the body might never have access to. That's called the RNA DNA structures within the plant. The glucoamylase breaks off glucose from a complex sugar molecule. And this is very important for cell energy. Beta gluconase in it is breaking down the beta glucans of vegetable protein and it can also degrade candida biofilms. Alpha galactosidase is very, very helpful breaking down the glycoproteins in cruciferous vegetables. So for people that have a little trouble with cauliflower, cabbage, broccoli, and so forth, 
The alpha galactosidase is an enzyme that can be very, very helpful to being able to use those foods and gain their nutritional value. Xylanase breaks down the hemicellulose uh, of fiber, and this is a direct food for many of the beneficial probiotic species in the body. So some bacteria can produce it, but oftentimes because a person during their life has had several courses of antibiotics, those species have all been killed off and now they become food sensitive. The xylanase can be helping a great deal, provide the fibers that allow new species and allow the growth, um, degrade the pathogenic biofilms and help uh, terraform the GI tract back into what the body originally intended. Of course, there's lactase enzyme here. It's produced in the microvilli brush borders. So Z-gluten is not really designed to forestall food allergies. It's really digestive support for more thorough digestion, particularly on some really tough uh, food structures that many people, particularly as they get older, as they've changed their gut microbiome, uh, dietarily that they need extra help. So it's going to be for increased food nutrient intake. It's going to help natural digestive processes and the disruption of unwanted bacterial biofilms. It's going to help avoid food sensitivity reactions because it can break down the uh, sensitive molecules so, and it's also very, very suitable for dietary indiscretions. I said, that's when we get blindsided or, hey, it's just time to go and enjoy the birthday party. Thank you.